What's up, you guys? So the family of Ajika Owens may soon see justice because Susan Larynx, that's the name of the woman who took the life of Ajika, who was affectionately known as AJ. Susan Larynx has finally been arrested after several days of protests. On Friday night, AJ, who was a 35-year-old mother of four, had her life tragically taken from her by Susan. And according to Sheriff Billy Woods, the incident marked a culmination of a two-and-a-half-year feud between the neighbors who lived in the Rolling Hills, which is south of Ocala, Florida. The sheriff's office posted a Facebook video late last night and made a statement clarifying that the case at hand was not and is not considered a stand your ground situation. And he described it in a straightforward manner as a. The sheriff, who in my opinion seemed to be talking out of both sides of his neck, acknowledged that many people were struggling to understand why an immediate arrest had not been made. And he explained that the laws in the state of Florida are unequivocal. And despite personal opinions or disagreements, he's obligated to adhere to those laws. In another video, he said his hands were tied. And y'all know what that means when law enforcement start making statements like their hands are tied. You know, the whole time we had only one side of the story, okay? We know that she shot through the door. Um, of course, on her side of the story, she makes claims that her life was being threatened. And the way the laws are written in this state, and this is what people need to understand, is our hands are tied in law enforcement in these cases where we are instructed that we cannot make the arrest because we have to rule out whether the, the shooting was justified or unjustified. That's why I say it sounds like he's talking out of both sides of his neck. And we're going to play that video in a minute because you'll see what I mean. It's like he's trying to appease the people who wanted Susan arrested. But at the same time, you can tell his true feelings. Hello, everyone. Sheriff Billy Woods here. I wanted to come to you tonight to give you an update on the homicide that occurred over the weekend. Tonight, we have arrested 58-year-old Susan Lawrence for the killing of Miss A.J. Owens. Now, my detectives have been working around the clock since this happened, sifting through evidence and interviewing witnesses. Now, I said this at the beginning. We want the same thing as Miss Owens' family, and that's justice. Now, here's the thing about justice. She's on her own time. Not my time, not a prosecutor's time, not even a mob's time. A mob seeking, well, what they think is justice. And I understand that in these situations like this, emotions run high, and it's understandable. In fact, I want to thank all of you that have sent me messages, sent me emails, texted me, and encouraging the arrest because it shows that you care about a fellow human being. Now, many of you were struggling to understand why there was not an immediate arrest. Well, as I partially explained in the beginning, the laws here in the state of Florida are clear. Now, I may not like them, I may not agree with them, but however, those laws I will follow and I will ensure. And sometimes when we do these investigations of cases of this level, rushing in to make an arrest is not the right thing to do sometimes. In fact, it could probably cause complications or cause errors because we want to ensure that what we present that justice is served all the way through the courts and that the individual gets what they deserve. And that's one of the things. My detectives cannot complete an investigation without getting all sides of a story. And that night, all we had was one person's story, and that was the shooter's story. But Miss Owens' story had to be told through evidence and the eyes of witnesses who were there. I told you that we want nothing more than justice, and this can only be accomplished by maintaining the integrity of the case and leaving no stone unturned. Throughout this tragic event, we have been working very closely with Mrs. Owens' family. And right now, that family needs your prayers and support. 
The justice we have all been seeking has been served. The peace for them is still a ways down the road. Now, some of you have asked me about the Stand Your Ground law. Personally, I think it's a great law designed to help Floridians to defend themselves and keep themselves safe. However, it does not apply in all situations, and this situation is a prime example of when it was not justified. It was simply a killing. And lastly, I want to thank all of my detectives for their hard work, because they do this in every case that is brought before them or that they are called to. They work them hard and tirelessly every single time. I promised you justice would be served and justice has been served. In the video shared by the sheriff's office, you can see a deputy escorting Susan down a hallway after she had been arrested. And she's dressed in shorts, a black top and a jacket, and her hands are restrained behind her back as she walks with her head down in shame. And according to the sheriff's office investigation, evidence revealed that Susan had a growing anger towards AJ's children for playing in a field near her apartment. So this was not a home that Susan owned, and it's not like the kids were playing in her yard or on her actual property that she owned. They were playing in a field in the neighborhood where they also lived, and Susan felt entitled as if that field was her property, when in reality, she didn't own the land, she doesn't own that land, and it's literally community property that they were playing on. So on Friday night, an argument ensued between Susan and the children, during which a neighbor overheard Susan yelling at the kids. And as the argument escalated, Susan threw a roller skate at AJ's 10-year-old son, which hit him in his toe. And so them and his 12-year-old brother approached Susan to address her about what she had just done. She responded by swinging an umbrella at them after opening her door. And so that's when they went and told their mother about the situation. There's also been reports that Susan stole an iPad that belonged to the boys that they left in the field that they were playing in and that the location was showing up in Susan's home. So in response, AJ went to Susan's residence, knocked on the door and demanded that Susan come outside. And it was at this moment that Susan fired a single through her door, which struck AJ in the upper chest as her 10 year old son was standing right beside her. So obviously she felt that she was gonna be able to use that stand your ground law. When deputies arrived, they discovered AJ suffering from that wound and she succumbed to her injuries at the hospital. And during the sheriff's office inquiry, Susan said that she acted in self-defense and she alleged that AJ was attempting to forcefully enter her home. So you can see where she's trying to use that stand your ground law. The sheriff's office also reported that Susan claimed that AJ had targeted her in previous incidents and had engaged in physical aggression towards her. But it seems that deputies found that it was Susan who was aggressive toward AJ in the past, and they concluded that Susan's actions were not justifiable under Florida law, and she was arrested. And so as far as her charges, the manslaughter charge that she's facing is punishable by up to 30 years in prison. And then she's also charged with culpable negligence because there were children present when she committed her crime and then also battery and two counts of assault. So at this point with her arrest, a step in the direction of justice has been taken. But to me, we still have to wait and see if justice is really served when Susan is tried in a court of law. That's what I need to see. I need to see her be sentenced and tried in a court of law. That's when I feel like I can see justice. But leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation and about Susan Lawrence finally being arrested for what she did to Ajika Owens. Leave a comment, share your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching.